Hey guys, what is up? My name is Kate and before we even get started here, I have to say that this video will contain major spoilers for Life is Strange and Before the Storm. So if you need to click off this video, please do that now. With all of that being said, let's get into it. After finishing Life is Strange, we know a few things for certain. Rachel Amber is dead. Nathan Prescott and Mark Jefferson are somehow involved in Rachel's death. Rachel at some point hooked up with Frank, which is weird. Rachel was addicted to, or at least a user of drugs. And for some reason, photographic evidence of Rachel's actual burial was proudly displayed in Jefferson's dark room. We know so much, but also so little, as all of these facts and more swirl around senselessly as we stare at the game's end credits. While most of the details surrounding Rachel's death are open to player interpretation, I will say that I have done a lot of interpreting, and I'm convinced that I've got a solid theory on exactly how Rachel died. I'm going to lay out all of my points, and you can let me know in the comments below if you agree with me or not. So let's start with Before the Storm. In this game, Rachel and Chloe have a romantic relationship. That is, if you made the in-game choices that led them down that path. While I believe that Rachel's romantic feelings for Chloe were genuine, I don't think that Rachel was as invested in the relationship as Chloe was. Further, I think that Rachel was in no place to be in a relationship at all, as she was struggling in the aftermath of her family's total implosion and developing an addiction to or reliance on drugs. Several references are made to Rachel being caught with drugs, and evidence of a romantic relationship with Frank is later revealed. While relationships can surprise us, I would be very surprised if Rachel was suddenly attracted to Frank after all of their terrible interactions in Before the Storm. For Rachel to hook up with Frank, I think that the most likely explanation is that he was providing her with free drugs. I believe that Rachel was using any money that she had to save up for her move out of Arcadia Bay as she aspired to become a model. Speaking of modeling, cue Mark Jefferson, the legendary photography teacher at Blackwell Academy. In addition to offering Rachel the validation she craved by feigning emotional interest in her, Jefferson was also able to offer Rachel a modeling gig. I believe that Rachel willingly posed for professional photos for Jefferson while also engaging in some type of romantic or emotional relationship with him. I believe that Jefferson manipulated Rachel into posing for increasingly inappropriate photos, first by earning her trust, and then by promising her modeling fame. As Jefferson was well known himself and certainly had connections in Rachel's dream city of Los Angeles, it's plausible for her to believe that he might actually be able to get her famous if she would only just comply. It was likely Rachel's dream of moving to LA, in addition to her infatuation with Jefferson, that kept her willingly returning to the dark room. Somewhere along the line, Nathan Prescott enters the picture. As Jefferson's protege, Nathan assists Jefferson in posing and photographing Rachel. Through his own knowledge that Rachel was already a user of drugs, I believe that Nathan encouraged Rachel to get high with him prior to posing. Though unknown to her, he had given her far more drugs than he had taken himself. With Rachel in this incapacitated state, Jefferson and Nathan were able to fully exploit Rachel in the same way that they did with their other female victims. Except one time, Rachel was given too much. I believe that she died of an accidental drug overdose right before the shocked eyes of Nathan and Jefferson. The two likely panicked, stuffed her body into a trash bag, and drove her to Arcadia Bay's junkyard. As Nathan was posed next to the burial site, Jefferson snapped one last photo, a sick reminder of his greatest crime to date. Alternatively, Jefferson perhaps snapped the photo to fully implicate Nathan should he ever be discovered. It seems like the MO for Nathan and Jefferson's other crimes was to drug girls at vortex parties and then bring them back to the dark room, but I don't believe that this is what occurred with Rachel. I think that she was a favorite of Jefferson's and that both Nathan and Jefferson were completely obsessed with her. I think that they wanted the best of both worlds, to be involved in Rachel's day-to-day -day life while also exploiting her, and it was not their intention for her to die. There is no evidence that I saw that directly implied that any other victims were murdered. 
I believe that Rachel's accidental overdose occurred because Nathan didn't know that Rachel already had drugs in her system, and his classic concoction to knock her out was just too strong for her on top of all she had already taken. Some speculate that Rachel was alive at the start of the game, and only missing due to her selfish desire to disappear one day. They believe that she was killed midway through gameplay and not prior to the April 22nd date on her missing person poster. I believe that Rachel was killed prior to April 22nd, and this goes back to her relationship with Chloe. While I have made another video on this channel about how their relationship was toxic, I do believe that Rachel genuinely cared for Chloe, and I don't believe that she'd allow Chloe to worry for months if she was really still alive. Further, when Rachel's body was discovered in the junkyard, it was found in an advanced state of decomposition, which I believe lines up with the April date. There is also a theory that the deer in the game represent Rachel's spirit, one which I agree with, and a deer is seen in the junkyard in September. So any theory that Rachel was killed in October, just before being found, can't be accurate. I think it's likely that she passed away in April of 2013, and that it was the result of an accidental overdose after willingly entering the dark room. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about all of the circumstances surrounding Rachel Amber's mysterious death? Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope to catch you in my next one.